Hello, my name is George Poirier and I will be publishing a series of technology classes for Cal-Am's Lifestyle University. These presentations will be about 15 minutes in length and designed to cover a range of beginner technology subjects. Uh, this uh, session is the series of three covering the introduction to the iPhone. Okay, the agenda we're going to be covering today is what level of iOS are we on? Uh, we covered this last time, but I want to make sure that everybody is up to speed on how to do it, number one, and number two is what, uh, that they're at the same level that, uh, that, uh, that I'm teaching. And number two is working with widgets. Uh, we'll be talking at length about that. And uh, finally, we'll be talking about the App Store, uh, what's in the App Store and how to get things in the App Store and uh, uh, how to do updates in the App Store. So, uh, about is where we go to do this uh, first task. Uh, about is uh, under, um, under s uh, system settings. And uh, under system settings, just scroll down a little bit uh, and you'll see at the very bottom of the screen, uh, general pops in and uh, general contains about. Okay, so we'll click on uh, general and uh, boom, there is about. Uh, before we click on that though, take a look and see that uh, right underneath that it says software updates. So if in fact you're at some le level other than uh, what I'm teaching at and you want to be current, uh, that's the place to get that done. Uh, and there are a bunch of other things that uh, you can take a look at too as well. Uh, but we're going to be taking a look at about, click on that, and lo and behold there's uh, the software version. Uh, we're at 14.3 today. Uh, and that's uh, uh, the model number, uh, how many uh, user files I've got, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's a lot of information here, as you can see. Uh, but the key thing is uh, what software version you're on. So, what are widgets, and why do we want to talk about those? Well, they've been around a while. Uh, they haven't been horribly useful uh, because they've been isolated to a single page. Uh, and, uh, and you, did, you really couldn't do a whole lot with them. Uh, you could select which ones you want to see, etc. Uh, however, uh, widgets uh, have finally become of age. Uh, the, uh, uh, as, as you see there, they're a subset of a full app, uh, and uh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> as a matter of fact, uh, one, uh, there's one app, it's called uh, Carrots Weather, that has uh, over 30 different settings that you can have uh, for different kinds of widgets. Uh, then finally, uh, uh, they have become useful in that you can now even put them on your home pages. So you can, in fact, customize your iPhone to make it a little more, uh, you know, personal. Uh, and uh, I found it to be invaluable for, uh, for my situation. Uh, next thing to do is to, uh, uh, is, uh, uh, well, so, that will get us to uh, um. okay so let's take a look and see what some uh, widgets look like uh, first of all uh, we'll start here at my home page uh, and as you'll see there there are two dots you can vaguely see uh, the fact that I've got two dots each of those dots represents a, a page of applications uh, in the past I've had up to six uh, pages of applications and in fact, that's after I uh, uh, pretty carefully uh, did some organization to it. Uh, and then uh, with release 14, they came out with a thing called the app, uh, the, uh, app library. And the app library allowed you to, first of all, it filled your, this library with every app that you have in your system. So it cut down your search time significantly. You don't have to, didn't have to scroll through all those pages to try to find your application. And number two is that... Uh, it allows you to uh, uh, store your actual pages in that library so that, in fact, city, if they, they don't become, the dots disappear for those particular pages and all those apps are still available. And uh, uh, I know that I had no ability to remember anything that was on page three or beyond. So uh, what I ended up doing was saying, heck, this makes no sense to keep these around. So I just uh, put those in the library and, and uh, let the library manage those. Um, however, let's take a look and see what uh, the widgets look like. And uh, to do that, we go back one screen by slowly, not slowly, uh, just uh, uh, pushing the uh, uh, screen to the right. 
And there we see the fact that I've got a uh, uh, what looks like a photo photograph at the top, and sure enough, that is the photo uh, is a photo widget. And so I said it's a subset of the actual application. So let's see what happens if I press it. So I'm going to click on uh, that, and lo and behold, it opens up uh, the photo app and uh, has all the capabilities. It is the photo app, and so you have all the capabilities of the photo app. Okay, so. With that, I will quit that guy. Uh, and the next guy down is another interesting one. Uh, that happens to be an exercise app, which has become uh, pretty important to me uh, in the last uh, six months or so. Uh, and uh, that is a thing uh, that allows me to identify what I'm going to be doing for exercises. And so uh, it's from uh, uh, Under Armour, as you see there. I find it to be the uh, to be just an invaluable tool uh, to help me. I uh, map my runs or ma my ones, my walks or uh, you know, keep track of uh, my fitness, etc. And so, uh, but, but if I go and slide that up, what you see there is the fact that uh, I have other things as well. And that is called a stack. You see the, the three dots on the right? That says they've got three, uh, three different uh, widgets all sitting together. Uh, and uh, they're called it's called as a widget stack okay and you, it'll uh, you can uh, add a new stack uh, if you want and then add some number of widgets to that stack uh, the next thing uh, down is one from tips and uh, so we're not going to go through every one of these things but uh, we get down a little bit further uh, there's the maps widget okay uh, down further still uh, that uh, I believe is the uh, screen uh, is the screen measure. It tells you how much time you're spending on the screens. Uh, there's Dark Sky, which is the weather app. Uh, and uh, my Fitness Pal is an app that uh, allows you to keep track of all your nutrition information. Uh, uh, TuneIn Pro is a, uh, it's, a an, it's actually a radio uh, app that allows you to listen to radio stations from all over the world. And I find it just invaluable. In all, in any kind of music they can imagine. Okay, so let's let's take a stop here for a second and. Uh, okay, so okay, so those are all our applications that we got running here, or all the widgets. And if we go all the way to the bottom, uh, lo and behold, the word edit appears. And so if we press edit, uh, now I'm in. Uh, quivering mode uh, so that tells me that I can do some uh, some interesting things to this thing but let's go all the way back down to the bottom again and uh, now it says customize and we'll do a customize I'll click on the uh, arrow and this allows me to these are the ones that I have installed okay uh, those are the ones with the minus sign in front of them and now if I go down further you'll find that in fact uh, I've got a bunch of other ones that are available to me that I have chosen not to include okay so if I want to include one uh, all I have to do is hit the plus sign in the front and uh, so let's do that with Kindle okay so now I've just added Kindle to the uh, uh, to the available um, um, to, the, to the available um, widgets okay so now I'm all done uh, and now what I want to do is uh, to, to do, uh, start being a little bit clever with this. So I'm going to pick a spot here in the middle and just hold my finger on it. And it turns into edit mode again, right? Uh, that's that quivering thing. It's called, uh, it's called uh, um, quiver mode. And uh, what I'm going to do now is to uh, plus, press the plus sign. Okay. So that will allow me to add widgets to this page. Okay, so I'll go down here and see if I find anything like... Uh, uh, Reddit. Okay, so I'll add that widget. And uh, TV. Add that widget, okay. That should be interesting. 
Okay, so. Now I am, um, what I'd like to do now is to take one of these guys and to put it on the first page, okay? So let's take a look and let's take a look at, uh, oh, that's too big. What's going to happen now is it's going to uh, cause those apps that I've got all in that on that page uh, to shift around because it's going to be taking up space. So let's pick one that's fairly small. We'll take the uh, the uh, Ask Reddit one and let's just, oops, we got to get back into edit mode here. And there I am, okay. And now I've got Ask Reddit and I put that right there, okay. So as you hear, see here, what I've already done is, I'll say done here just to be done with it. Uh, I've uh, already added this uh, activity one, or now it's fitness one. Uh, I've also added this clock, okay. Uh, I've added, I just added this guy here. Now what's happened is that I had this thing all real, real well organized. What it's had to do is to take two of those apps and put them on a sub subsequent page. Let's go back over to here, and sure enough, health and health uh, have been moved from, and these other guys too, actually, and exercise and news all have, in fact, now been moved from this page over to this page. Okay, so after this uh, presentation is done, we'll uh, we'll re reconfigure this guy. Uh, there's another app that I, or another widget that I've got installed on this page, which is actually the battery life uh, that I have. Uh, the battery charging level uh, for the phone at 100% and uh, my watch at 49%. So I've got that information about at my fingertips as well. So that's pretty handy to have. So let's go back over to here and uh, uh, we are now uh, done with with working with widgets. Okay. So now we'll spend some time talking about the App Store. Uh, that's been evolved a little over time uh, a bit and so we'll uh, just discuss and uh, to show you what some of the uh, uh, new features and capabilities are so with that uh we'll take a look at the bottom very look at the very at the bottom you'll see that the blue has, has highlighted uh this guy right here uh, that's the today uh, so what they've done is they've shown you on the screen uh you know the uh recommendations uh, that they have for today uh, some new applications that have come along, new apps, and you'll scroll through. To, if you want, you want to scroll through all that, you'll find that there are uh, several today recommendations, uh, probably based on uh, popularity. They have probably have a, a staff that uh, uh, figures out what makes the most sense, and uh, and puts those as recommendations. If you look up here, uh, you'll see your picture or your initials or or something. Here's my uh, emoji. Uh, Momoji, and uh, so that's me right there. And a little bit later on, we'll click on that and take a look and see what that uh, represents because that does some stuff too. So, the next guy over is games, okay? Uh, those are the brand new games that are uh, rec being recommended for today as well. Uh, and uh, one of the things that you want to see here is if you want to get this Scrabble game, uh, it's uh, the, the word get in there says that it's free, okay? Uh, but there's another little uh, gutch in there. If you take a look a little more carefully, just underneath that it says in-app purchases. And if it says in-app purchases, that says that it's free to download and you can probably play it to some level, uh, maybe for a week or something. And uh, then you're going to have to do something, uh, buy, buy a new uh, uh, set of letters or something uh, that's going to cost you some money. So anyway, that's what that uh, represents. And I typically go through some of the letters to the editor. Uh, and then if I suspect it's going to be expensive, I actually do a search on, uh, uh, on Google to find out uh, what they have to say. Uh, and, uh, and, and some of these guys can be pretty expensive. Uh, I have no idea what the uh, cost of this one is. The next guy over is apps. And this is just general apps. Uh, TikTok is the one they're pro push, uh, pushing right now. Uh, and that fact that you see this uh, cloud with an arrow in it that says that I've actually uh, gotten uh, TikTok already uh, and in fact I can re-download it if I wish to. Uh, what that's uh, more than likely says and it's true is I deleted it off my system uh, but I could still go back and still get it. 
uh, and uh, the next guy is the Disney uh, subscription channel. Uh, I, you see, I don't have that. And once again, it's free to get it. Uh, but if you want to watch anything, it's uh, yeah, you're going to have to uh, uh, buy them. And next guy over is Arcade. Uh, Arcade is interesting in that it is unlimited access to 100 plus games uh, for a monthly fee. And the fee is really reasonable. It's, uh, it's uh, $5 a month. Uh, and if I was a game player, I would definitely be uh, um, uh, partaking this uh, in this particular uh, option. Uh, however, I don't play games. I just play a couple of uh, uh, of uh, card games and stuff. Uh, but uh, I don't really get serious about this stuff. Uh, so anyway, uh, but the, the thing is, there's no in-app purchases. They're ad-free uh, and uh, they're yours to use. Okay. And so again, it's uh, uh, it's uh, five dollars a month. Uh, and, uh, so that's the that's uh, the arcade stuff, and it's real well worth uh, looking at if you're into that stuff at all. Uh, the next guy over is Search, uh, and while I'm in Search, uh, what you can see here is uh, the fact I can search for about anything. So. Okay, so we're going to search for Golf Coach app, uh, and uh, sure enough, there's there's uh, one right there. Uh, it's not surprising I found one because there are over two million apps in the App Store. <clears throat> one of the things I noticed was in fact it said Get, which indicates it's a free app. Uh, so if I were really curious, I would uh, go and uh, I'd do some more research. I'd open up the app. I'd read some comments uh, and uh, find out if in fact uh, it was free. Uh, but uh, um, uh, right now we're just doing some uh, exercising on how to do a search and you can be pretty free form in your searches it's going to find something for you uh, pretty much just about anything any, anything you look for uh, okay so once we're uh, done uh, taking a look at that and analyzing that what we're going to opt to do is to hit cancel and uh, what cancel will do is bring it back to the previous screen and in cancel uh, I'm going to click on the emoji what the emoji is going to be doing, the emoji, is that's going to open up my uh, uh, my account screen. Okay, so there you see my account screen, and the reason I'm doing that is to show you what's at the bottom. Uh, if, uh, if you remember in the old days, uh, if you had the iPhone that long, uh, in the old days the uh, uh, App Store had the uh, an updates uh, button. Okay, uh, that updates button has uh, gone away. And it resides here. The update function is it resides here, uh, and uh, I found it to be very efficient. I barely ever look at it anymore. The only time I ever look at it is if I, if I don't have access to it for a while or or something of that nature. Uh, but what I've done here is just a, to an update by scrolling down uh, with my finger, and uh, what it'll do, what it changed was, was zero uh, updates to eight updates. So I've got only eight updates uh, uh, available to me right now. Uh, which uh, I'm sure by the time I'm done uh, putting this together that will be long done uh, So uh, that is my uh, that's how you get the updates now uh, again It's uh, quite different than it, than it was before The next guy we're going to do is to hit click click on done and we're going to be done Okay, so I uh, really appreciate you uh, uh, watching this session with me, uh, and uh, uh, please uh, join me again when we do the next one. I think believe I think the next guy is going to be on health. Uh, we're going to be talking about the uh, iPhone with the Apple Watch primarily, and uh, discuss uh, uh, what those guys can do and how to make that uh, a valuable tool for you, and also uh, what's happening in the other world as well as in the uh, in the Android world as far as the health is concerned. So thank you for joining me and we will see you later.